Hi, it's Manny Vega with the Vega team from Royal Page Nalta. I'm Asra Vega. And I'm Rahul Vega. As you know that we have a special guest in this room today to interview. His name is Mr. Rahul Vega and all the people, all the viewers you might know, Rahul Vega is our son. He is our new business partner and he's our new business associate to the Baga team. We wanted to welcome him and welcome him in this room to ask a few questions what he is up to and what he is going to do. So as Mr. Rahul Vega, tell us a little bit about yourself. So as of right now, I grew up in grew up in Edmonton, Alberta, born and raised, did all my schooling over here, went to Strathcona High School, and right when I finished Strathcona, well, right when I finished high school, I went straight into University of Alberta and I'm currently studying in business degree over there and I'm specializing in financing. Perfect. So I remember distinctly that you did Kogato throughout your schooling years. Definitely, definitely. All elementary and junior high, I did all Kogato program. During Strathcona High School, I did all my AP program. And yeah. Wow. So I understand. So you were born in here. You went schooling here. You went to already third year of your business degree. Correct. What make you to come in real estate this world? So as you can see, both my parents are in this industry for over 23 years. So I was almost thrown into this business, but at the same time, I fully enjoy it. I love the work here. I love working with people, the clients, the buyers, the sellers the investors, the construction side of it. I love it all. So, so I think um, you, you weren't thrown into here. I think you were born, born into, into here, here, right? I know, I remember Rahul used to be newborn baby in my arms and I used to be bringing him to the office while I'm entering phone numbers in our database for Manny. So this was like, what, 21 years ago? 21 years ago. As you know, the time fat flies by and then memory stays. And um, 100% Rahul just grew up in this industry by by blood and then seeing every single thing in it. So as you grew up in this real estate, you already now have a full license. You become a full realtor. I understand that. But what you really like in, in a small short uh, time frame, you already practicing in real estate. But what is is anything you really like about it? Yeah, I definitely do. Real estate's one side of it. I love I love real estate, but I'm more passionate about new new home buyers, construction, infills, property management, and all of that kind of stuff. I do have my green belt license underneath myself, and I'm fully licensed for the past couple of years. So, so if if you're looking at it right now, you're doing construction and you're looking after the real estate. Why construction and real estate is 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 you passionate about? Uh, well, all like for the past like few years, dad has been a big impact and big hero in my life who has inspired me to become a builder. We built f close to four or five home, custom homes by ourselves. And then after that, I continued this company and started building my own. Fantastic. Yeah. You already give me a little bit of up till the point where you have a schooling, you want to have an education. Now you tell me a little bit of interest. So we will switch a little bit of gear, not to study, not your profession. I want to know about you. So Azra will ask that question. Okay. So what is your favorite food? Uh, my favorite food has to be burgers. I love burgers. Any type, chicken, pork, anything. Okay, so I, I, as I already jumped for your personal questions, so which is you already give me a food. So when you are not in work or you are not in school, what do you do in your free time? Mm, there's not a few, there's not a lot of things, but there's a few things I really love. I love going to the gym. I, I'm a very athletic person, so I love going to the gym. I love playing golf. I play soccer, basketball with my friends, and on occasion, some field hockey. Interesting. And I believe you were almost a professional soccer player until you had a knee injury. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Playing soccer since when? I've been playing soccer since I was about six years old, and I continued playing all the way up until I was 20 years old until I uh, tore one of my ligaments in my knee. Fantastic. So I can understand that all your words are telling me that you're very, very athletic. You really, really like to go gym or golf. Currently, that's what you do. Definitely. Okay. I am going to change a little bit more gear onto it. So 
So you already gone to study, you already in the third year of a business degree, plus you're coming to real estate, plus you play golf. And when you are free by yourself, what kind of music, what kind of entertainment you are having in life? Well, for music wise, I love R&B, pop, hip hop, all of that kind of stuff. I enjoy for spare time. I love watching some movies, some shows, and yeah, just ch- having some fun with my friends. Mm. Yeah. And you forgot about us. Oh, I can never. I, I think I spend a little bit too much time with these guys at the office. I need some break. <laughs> okay, fantastic. I am going to ask you another question. You told me that you really like the R and B and pop music. And um, any particular uh, uh, series or video or movie or. Um, anything you really like in the As of right now, the only show I'm watching is Suits and I'm in love with it. I'm addicted to it. I have to watch it before I go to sleep every night. Fantastic. So as we're next. So Rahul, what is your favorite restaurant? Oh, that's going to be a little difficult. My favorite restaurant is actually not in Edmonton. It's back in Houston. We went there for a trip and they're well known for the Texas barbecue, their uh, their smoke houses, their ribs, their uh, pulled pork, all of that stuff is one of my favorite. And I don't think there's any restaurant in Edmonton or surrounding areas that can beat Houston's uh, barbecue. So basically you really love barbecue where air sauces are there. Oh, hundred percent. He just loves meat. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm going to switch another gear for you to ask. So what's your favorite drink? Uh, if I have to pick a drink, my favorite would probably have to be an old fashioned. You can never go wrong with a good, a properly made old fashioned with a nice big ice cube. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really, really good one. Any, any special bourbon you really like or just only old fashioned? Ah, I love bullet bourbon. It's really good with some spirits in it. Always really good. Excellent. So Rahul, what uh, is the favorite place you've traveled? I know we've extend, uh, traveled extensively through our life, but out of all the places, which one place would you say that you love? Out of all the places that we've traveled, we've been to quite a few places, but one place that comes to my mind right away, every time anybody asks, has to be Rome. When we went to our Rome and Greece trip, one of the best and most iconic trips I can ever imagine. The cathedrals, the churches, the environment, everything there, the food was amazing. The environment was amazing. It's just completely different from any other place that we've ever been to. I agree with you. I totally, totally agree with you. So now I understand your background that where you really love the vacation but if you wanted to go future let's say hey what will be your dream vacation if you ever have an idea there's a few places on my mind i think the top would have to be turkey cappadocia i want to come and see the sunrise with all the air hot air balloons in the sky second would might be have to be dubai i can you can never go wrong with dubai i love it i want to go check it out at least once and third probably has to be Maybe Bali. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll go there with you. <laughs> They're a top list. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's, no. it's, it's a high, it's a big list to be. Okay. So, Rahul, tell us what kind of car do you drive? And oh. what is your dream car? So, my, the car I drive right now is a Mercedes C43. But my dream car of all time has to be a Lamborghini Aventador Roadster. No matter what, hands down, my favorite car. Okay. You better go sell a few more houses. Uh, well, <laughs> well, well, put it this way together. Always dream big and work on it. Yeah. God has a destiny written for everybody. And every dream can be fulfilled. But you definitely need to work on it. Am I right? Definitely, definitely. Okay, um, we are coming at the very end. I wanted to ask you one quick question. I understand that you grew so fast, but in those years, you got so much experience uh, and so much knowledge you already have. It. A lot of people, a 21 year kid, don't have that what you have. But according to you, if you can give one advice for all the audience is watching today, what that would be? Well, life is short. Do whatever you want to do. Both my parents never told me to become a real estate agent. Go do this, go do that. No, they, one of the biggest things that they taught me and one thing I very hard, take to heart is do whatever you want to do. Go with your passion, do whatever that makes you happy. Not what anybody else says. If somebody says, hey, do this, do that, do this, do that. No, if you don't feel like it, if you don't have an interest in it, don't waste your time and pursue that. 
do whatever you want to do and save your time. Life is short and enjoy your life. And you know, that's the only way you're ever going to be successful in your life and your career is if you're going to do what you want to do. He could have started um, something else, but he couldn't have, might not have liked it. So thank you for joining our team. Glad to be here. All right. And uh, before we can end it up this whole story, if all the audience, the people that, who are watching, their family, friends, or the person who really wanted to interact with you, or they wanted to ask a couple of questions, where are they going to come to reach out to you? Well, I'm not hiding anywhere. You can give me a call at 780-994-4600 or give me a shout out on email at rahul at manibega.com. So if you guys are watching today, if you guys have any questions, call him, DM him. He will be happy to answer questions. But next week, I will bring us our brand new, another hero and our business partner and associate. Stay tuned. God bless you. Oh, by the way, your comment are very important. What you really like about Rahul, what you really want to ask about Rahul, and he'll be happy to reach out. Thank you so much. God bless you. Stay smiling. All right. Take care, guys.